the Bitcoin blockchain has its own energy, space and time. Let me just take you through the economic energy cycle for that to really sink in. We produce energy, we transfer it across space, electrical grids, and we consume it over time, Bitcoin mining. And that's all of the physical side of the Bitcoin network. On the digital side, that compute power is producing the next block in the chain. Mining pools are the sort of aggregated entity that are collecting the compute power of all the different miners that connect to them and mining blocks as a group to create the next block in the chain, which is data storage space of information. And what is that information? It's Bitcoin, data money. And so we have this data money that's based on energy. So you've got this intrinsic connection between energy, compute and finance. Um, that might be a bit of a mouthful, but the overall approach here is that if blocks didn't have a difficulty adjustment, if the, the password required to crack the next block in the chain, if it didn't have a self-regulating mechanism like the difficulty adjustment, if the network doubled in size as to the amount of compute performance being produced, blocks would not be every 10 minutes, they'd be every five minutes. And so there would be twice as much data storage space to put transactions, and there'd be twice the speed of issuance and inflation in the system. And so it constrains the rate of energy input to the digital side, which constrains the amount of data space and the amount of time derived monetary units being issued it's quite a lot, but the overall gist here is it's like a mirror image of the physical side that we produce power, transfer it and consume it over time. We produce digital power, transfer it in data units of Bitcoin and transfer it over time. And yeah, the fee side of things, because energy sort of cir circulates clockwise, fees circulate anti-clockwise and subsidy which is that when you pay a transaction fee, you are paying to store information in a block, which the miner that finds the block is getting constrained by the difficulty adjustment. And to that local miner, he's consuming electricity on some form of grid. So his input is being paid with his output Bitcoin that you paid him. So fees circulate anti-clockwise and energy circulates clockwise. And the duopoly of how much energy that we produce in the amount of data space that we operate and consume, though, those are the production and consumption dynamics of the Bitcoin network. Uh, if you have questions, the comment section below is for you.